hallelujah hallelujah praise the lord we bring you greetings in the mighty name of the lord jesus and we thank god for bringing us into his presence for having given us life once again we come into your homes to give you the word of god hallelujah let us pray father in the name of jesus want to thank you for this morning want to give you glory and honor for our lives and for how far you have brought us we say we give you praise we give you adoration that you have given us life once again we want to give you praise we want to adore you for everything that you have done for us in jesus mighty name i pray amen amen we thank god so much the lord has been faithful unto us in this time of covid and he has sustained our lives he has kept us alive and we want to give him praise we want to adore his name for everything that he has done for us this morning we come and we give you the word of God I am speaking on the topic hope in the midst of trouble hope in the midst of trouble these are trying times these are difficult times that we find ourselves people are dying people are losing their jobs but we want to give you hope this morning we want to tell you that Jesus Christ is that hope that you need that if you believe in him everything that you are going through whatever the challenges is whatever the trials are there is hope for you hallelujah so we are going to read from Romans chapter 5 verses 1 to 5 Romans chapter 5 verses 1 to 5 it says therefore being justified by faith we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ being justified by faith we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ by whom also we have access by faith into the grace wherein we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God and this is where I want us to pay attention to he says and not only so but we glory in tribulations also knowing that tribulations worketh patience and patience experience and experience hope and hope maketh not ashamed because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost which is given unto us I want us to pay attention to the verse 5 it says and hope make it not ashamed when you read other passages the Bible says that when hope does not disappoint what do we understand by hope hope is a confident expectation of what God has promised there are certain promises that the Lord has made for us but it is an expectation that we have that indeed this these promises would definitely definitely be manifested in our life and that is hope it is a confident expectation of, of, of the promises of God in our lives. Growing up, we all have our hopes. We all have hope that one day we would also get married. One day we will be financially sound. There are a lot of things that we all have hope about. Growing up, I have always hoped that someday I would also get married. Someday I will be so educated. And the Lord has been faithful unto us that these things that we hope for, the Lord has always satisfied them. Hallelujah. So we are, as I said, just to remind you, we are talking about hope in the midst of trouble. Hallelujah. So getting married is someone's hope. We, are, we find ourselves in a trying time. We find ourselves in difficult time. But I am here to tell you that there is hope for you. There is hope for that situation. I don't, I, don't, I, I don't know what you are actually going through. But I came to tell you that there is hope for you in that situation. You might have lost your job. But there is hope for you. Why is there hope for you? Because you have believed in a man. You have believed in God. And because of that, there is hope for you. Hallelujah. There is a man that was spoken about in the Bible. The Bible makes us to understand in John 5 that this man was sick for 38 years the man was sick for 38 years I would believe that during his years when he was born he didn't he didn't have the sickness but he was the Bible said he was sick for 38 years 38 good years I don't know how long your, your problems have been I don't know how long that trials or that sickness has been but this was a man who survived 38 years of sickness but what I want us to understand here is that throughout his years throughout these 38 years the man believed he had a hope that someday when this water is stirred he would get the opportunity to also go into the water and be healed but one thing I want us to understand here in John chapter 5 is that this man was hoping that someday somebody a man would come and pick him up and drop him into the, the, the water the pool that was stirred because the pool actually gave healing to all those who, 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 who go in so he was believing and hoping that one day somebody 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 will come and pick him up 
and drop him in the pool but not knowing that even as he continued to hope for 38 good years he never knew that not just an angel will come and stir the water for him to be dropped but the man the healer himself Jesus Christ of Nazareth would meet him he was still hoping to be healed but he never knew that the man himself the healer himself would be the one to give him this healing hallelujah so i want to tell you i don't know how long that problem has been i don't know how long that sickness has been i don't know how long you have been waiting for the fruit of the womb but i came to tell you that there is hope for you there is hope for you you are not broken because you have believed in a god you have believed in a god who is able to save you hallelujah so yours is not even up to 38 years so why do you stop hoping hope is a confident expectation of the promises of god it means that you believe that the lord himself will be able to deliver you from that situation and that is what i want you to begin to believe and hope for hallelujah so hope as we know is the catalyst to activate the faith of god in you so when you begin to have hope it is a catalyst it is something that precipitates faith because the bible says in in hebrews chapter 11 verse 1 that faith is the substance of things hoped for so it means that hope is a catalyst that actually precipitates your faith without hope it is difficult for you to have faith and this man had hope this man had believed that someday somebody will take him out and drop him in the water that was dead but he didn't he never knew that the master himself it is my prayer that even as you continue to hope in god that the lord himself should visit you i pray that he would visit you as you request in the mighty name of jesus because you have hoped in him because you believe that someday those promises that he has actually prescribed for us you are also one person who also needs to manifest that promises in your life hallelujah hallelujah this is a man who believed that there is there is something that is good that can happen to him someday he had hope in himself and that is what i want you to have for yourself this 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 morning you might be dying of something maybe you have a sickness that you think is not going to go away maybe you are financially broken you are financially handicapped you think that there is nothing that you can do there is nothing that can be done about your situation i came to tell you this morning that there is a god who answered my fire there is a god that we believe in that we know that at the mention of his name every knee shall bow every problem every sickness will bow before him i came to tell you this morning have hope in god have hope in him because he himself has asked that whatever it is that you need of him you should ask of him he said why haven't you received because you haven't asked this morning i came to tell you have hope in god in the midst of this COVID, you might have lost your job as i said you might be sick of something you need money to do something but you don't know where the money is coming from i want you to believe that there is a god he is our provider he is our provision he is our healer and i prescribe that jesus for you this 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 morning hallelujah believe in him believe in god have hope in him and you will receive that blessings that you want to receive hallelujah hallelujah it is my prayer this morning that the lord himself will propel that hope in you the lord himself if there is anything that is dead in your life this morning i pray it up in the name of jesus if there is anything that is dead in your life i speak life into it this morning in the mighty name of jesus i pray that the lord himself will increase your hope in him as i said earlier your hope is a catalyst that activates your faith in god i pray this morning in the name of jesus that your faith and your your hope will be activated once again it is it is it is not always that your 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 you you are interrupted between the processes hallelujah something you might call an interruption was actually god's intervention you might have thought that the lord has interrupted a process in you but i came to tell you that it is actually god's intervention in your life hope in god hope in him and he himself will grant you that grace and that enablement to overcome all your afflictions in the mighty name of jesus we pray amen 
I thank God so much for how far he has brought us. I just want us to lift up our voice and begin to pray. Tell God that Father Lord Jesus, build in me that hope that is dead in me. If there is hope in me that is dead, Father, may you reactivate that hope once again. May I begin to believe in you that indeed you are my provider, you are my provision. Let us pray. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus. We commit your people into your hands, O oh Lord. If anyone is sick, if anyone O oh Lord is distressed, if anyone is depressed, if anyone is stressed, O oh Lord, Father, we pray and we speak forth your word upon their life. That Father, may it bring life into anything that is dead in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray your grace upon their life. I pray your anointing upon their life. I pray your spirit upon their life in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We bless you in Jesus' mighty name. This morning, if you haven't accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, we want to recommend Jesus to you this morning if you want to accept Jesus just say this after me oh Lord Jesus I come before you I come before you I believe that you are the son of God and I believe that you came to die for me on the cross forgive me of all my sins and accept me into the kingdom once again wipe away my name from the, from hell and write my name in your books of life in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you Father. I pray O oh Lord Jesus for this one that has accepted you O oh Lord. May your grace abound upon his life and may you fill him O oh Lord with your spirit. In Jesus mighty name we pray with thanksgiving. God richly bless you and have a blessed week. In Jesus name Amen. Go, good people of Ghana. Here are some safety measures on prevention of coronavirus. 1. Cover your mouth with tissue when you cough or sneeze. Dispose of tissue into a bin immediately you cough into it and wash your hands with soap and the running water. Avoid shaking hands and use sanitizers as often as you can. Signs and symptoms of coronavirus include fever, cough, sneezing and difficulty in breathing. Should you experience any of these or for more inquiries, please contact 0558-439-868. That's 0558-439-868 or call 0509-497-700. That's 0509-497-700. Remember to always wash your hands with soap and the running water. This message is brought to you by the Ministry of Health, the Ghana Health Service and Partners.